It's time for episode 138 of Whistlekick Martial Arts Radio, and today we'll talk about the worldwide community that is martial arts. Let me introduce myself. I'm Whistlekick's founder, but I'm far better known as your host on this show. My name is Jeremy Lesniak. Whistlekick, I'm really honored to get to say, we make the world's best sparring gear, and we make some great apparel and accessories, and all of it's for practitioners and fans of the traditional martial arts. That's probably you. I'd like to welcome any new listeners and thank everyone that's returned. All of our past podcast episodes, show notes, and a whole bunch more great stuff is available at whistlekickmartialartsradio.com. No spaces, no hyphens, or anything like that. And from there, you can sign up for our newsletter, and I hope you do, because we offer exclusive content to subscribers, great discounts, and it's the only place to find out about upcoming guests for the show. Now, we've got some great deals coming tomorrow. If you're listening to this, when we release it, it is Thanksgiving. And we've actually got deals coming all through the holiday season, 2016. And if you want to know how to find out about those deals, I bet you can guess how to do that. You've got to be on the newsletter list. We want to be able to email you. So this is how we do it. Get on over whistlekick.com or whistlekickmartialartsradio.com. Make sure you're on the newsletter list. And if you already are, you're going to find out very quickly all the great stuff we've got coming for this shopping season. Like I said, today, here in the United States at least, we celebrate the holiday of Thanksgiving. While most of our listeners are American, more than 15% of you are listening internationally. I think that's kind of neat. And here's a fun fact. We've actually been downloaded in 112 different countries. So I just think that's really cool. Even though the gross commercialism and gluttony of Thanksgiving gets top billing on a day like today, The holiday, at least for me, is about a lot more than stuffing my face and buying stuff. It's about family and community, about sharing a space and a meal with the people that mean the most to me. There are quite a few parallels between the way I view Thanksgiving and my martial arts training, actually. In many families, there's often a person or maybe two or more, hopefully not too many more, that drive everyone else nuts. But you love them. Hopefully you accept them. In your martial arts family, there's probably someone like that too. I've trained alongside some wonderful martial artists that drove me completely insane. People that I struggled not to enjoy kicking. (laughs) People that I didn't see eye to eye with, but we shared a common bond. We trained together. Now I can remember one of these people in particular that used to mind anything that anybody was teaching, even the head instructor. They'd chime in with their opinion on what was wrong and why the school that they used to train in did it better, and all manner of things that really weren't intended to be offensive, but they were. Nothing we did was the right way, according to this individual. And once, I even had my instructor, the head instructor, come to me and give me permission to discipline them if it happened again. And if you know what I mean, uh, yeah, it was that bad. This person's no longer training. And while I don't miss the frustration or their personality or the way that they could completely upend a really good class for a lot of people, I miss them in a sense. I believe that they were a better person with their training, as I believe everyone benefits from martial arts training. I know enough of this person that I know what they're up to in their life. And they didn't just migrate to another school. They just stopped. I am genuinely, truly sad that this person has stopped training. They had some skill. And if I might go so far as to make a judgment, they're actually someone that seemed to need the discipline and the physical outlet of their martial arts training. I'm going to go ahead and hope that even though it's been a few years, and even though this person resuming their training would probably mean some pain and frustration in my life, I'm going to hope that they start training again. Maybe they'll find another school. But either way, I hope that they do start their training again. I'm sure they're not listening. Without getting into too much detail, I don't have a conventional family. I will not be spending Thanksgiving Day with people I am related to by blood. But I will be spending it with people that I love dearly, people that I call family. How did I first meet them? Yeah, through martial arts. I love them as much as I do anyone I share DNA with, and in most cases, even more. In any group of people, 
you'll have those you prefer and those you'd rather avoid. It's, it's just human nature and it's inevitable. Even though most families have people like this, the instinct is to protect and support them through times of need. I'd like to suggest that your martial arts family deserves similar treatment. It takes a lot of trust, which I'd say is a fundamental component of love, to work side by side with someone, bleeding on them, letting them sweat on you, and trusting that you're out to help each other and grow and become better for the experience. A martial arts school is a place where people share this common experience, and that builds a pretty strong bond. While not the same as blood relationships, though blood can be involved, there's certainly a type of family here. And it's one that I think we should respect and cherish. Which is why it hurts me so much when we tear each other down. We're all martial artists. We're engaged in a practice of self-improvement. We do so in different ways. Different instructors, different styles, systems. Because we ourselves are different. There is no right way. Though there might be a right way for you, and that's okay. It's cliche and hokey, but the notion that we're all part of a martial arts family really is true. We share a bond of training and a goal to improve ourselves through the process of our martial arts training. Just as you may have members of your biological family that you've never met, you have members of your martial arts family that you've never met. Ever meet a stranger, then learn that they train? For most people, this instantly adds a significant level of trust and comfort. It gives you a bond, something you can talk about. You hold a shared perspective. And to me, that's family. While 85% of you will be stuffing your face today, me included, I'd like to ask that you give thanks for all of the things important to you, even if it's silently, and I hope that you'll include your martial arts family and your martial arts training in that list. I've probably never met you. We've probably never trained together, but we're family. Thank you for being part of my family and for listening to this show. I'd love to know what you thought about today's episode. It was a short one, but I'm not one to wax emotional, uh, especially in a way that other people are going to hear it. But I thought it was important to say these things, especially on an important day for a good majority of us like today. How do you feel about your martial arts family? Are they your best friends? Are they people that you build your social circles around? Or are they just people that you hang out with a few hours a week and you know you can trust them? We want to hear from you. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, YouTube. Just search for Whistlekick. Or if you want to leave us a comment, the show notes page is a great place to do that. Whistlekickmartialartsradio.com. If you have something private you'd like to say, you can email me, jeremy at whistlekick.com. If you want to be a guest on the show, or maybe you've got an idea for a topic, there's a form over at whistlekickmartialartsradio.com that you can fill out. Don't forget to subscribe to the newsletter so you can stay up on everything we're doing, and you can get hooked up with those 2016 holiday discounts as soon as they come out. You can learn more about our products at whistlekick.com while you're signing up for the newsletter. That's all for today. Until next time, train hard, smile, eat great food, hug your family, and have a great day.